With the downing of MH17 in Ukraine, there were already a lot of claims and counterclaims being made very early on. Um, so it was very important to immediately start trying to verify these claims. So what we had were, were claims coming from the Russian government that you know an Su-25 jet was used to shoot it down a Ukrainian jet. Then we had claims from the uh, Ukrainian government and other Western powers that it was a missile launcher that was supposedly in the area. And what you was quite unusual with this is you had lots of video evidence. So you had all kinds of video showing these, you know, the remains of the aircraft. You have photographs of the remains of the aircraft, but you also have images of the missile launcher itself. So it was very important to verify what was true and what wasn't. It certainly seems from my perspective that there's a vast amount of user-generated content being produced. You know, there's been a huge amount from Syria. You know, there's estimated to be half a million videos from Syria alone. Then you look at Egypt, events like the Boston Marathon bombing, and this all needs verification. This ne all needs checking. When you're working with user-generated content, you have to question what you're seeing. There's so many opportunities for fake information to be shared. Checking if it's real or not is very, very important. Check Test has been very useful for us because we've been able to verify content, we've been able to do it collaboratively with other people. When we're verifying user-generated content, it's very important to be very clear and transparent. And what's great about CheckDesk is it allows us to show every step we've taken along the way. It's a very easy interface to use. Anyone can use it. With our recent work on tracking vehicles in Ukraine, we had uh, various Russian language and Ukrainian language communities come to us and start submitting stuff to CheckDesk. Anyone can use it. People can join in easily. We found it very useful for bringing together communities from different platforms into one location. So for us, it's been very helpful and it helps build strongly communities to investigate this kind of material.